Hi guys and welcome to Vehicle Sensation. Today we are doing a headlight modification video. I'm modifying the lights, the headlights of this 207 Subaru Impreza. I hope you guys can follow along how I managed to transform it from the left to the right. So let's get started. To get the headlight off, you'll first need to remove a few bumper clips. They are on top of the bumper. You'll need to remove the grills because there's a few clips behind those tabs. And below the bumper as well. To the inside. But mostly it's the clips on the top that you need to take care of. So after removing all the clips, the whole bumper just comes off easy. To remove the headlight, you'll need to remove some 10 millimeter bolts. There are six, four there, and uh, these other two, which will be, which are the only things holding it in at the moment. So that should be quick. You gotta watch out for these two connectors to the headlight. Uh, they are pretty old and very difficult to remove. So, yeah, they may require some strength, but that's it. The headlight is off. Here it is. Clear, very dirty, of course, but it's out. So maybe we can wipe it off a bit and put it in the oven. So here is the headlight. Still looking very dirty. <laughs> I couldn't wash it all off. It's a lot of mud. So before you put it in the oven, you'll need to remove some of the screws. There is on this there are around five. Here is one. There. Some are pretty hidden. You can see another one. Uh this, this, those are already five. So one. So one, two, three four and the fuse on the other side so yeah before you put it in the oven you need to remove those screws and uh, i won't remove the wires because i'm not concerned those they, there's nothing which will happen to them they can stay in the oven only the screws so get the screws off only be so heavy you can set the headlight in the oven that way you can use a plug of wood for support but if it fits make sure it's not touching any wall where it can melt but and uh, all will be well so there it is you set the temperature to around 100 degrees there you can do 100 between 100 and 110 is good so for 10 minutes and you let it bake so 10 minutes later i think it's time to remove the headlight So, to remove the headlight, you'll need to get these tabs off, more like clips, these tiny clips, they are all around, then you'll be able to pull it off.
you can see it's trying to come off but yeah it's very difficult so let me try to pull it apart Wow, that was difficult. So I'll maybe keep trying. I'll keep try prying it off this way until it comes off. So, yeah. So after a lot of pulling and uh, fighting, I can call it fighting because, wow, that was not an easy fight. Yeah. So after lots of pulling and fighting, the headlight, uh, it finally came apart. So this one holds those shiny chrome parts, which I'm going to paint black. And here is the whole housing without the lens. The high beam, the low beam, which is a projector and the reflector. So I'm going to paint this black too, as well as these pieces. So let me get this off. So these chrome pieces separate from the lens, they are, uh, they are screwed to the lens but it's easy to remove so after unscrewing them all I'm going to paint this black together with this reflector for the indicator. I know that may not be the best thing to do but I'm painting that black, I'm also blacking this place so that the housing can all look black. So while I wait for the paint to dry, I'm going to do the demon I install. Here I've, just for testing purposes, I'm using my drill battery plugged into the controller for the demon eye. Here's the demon eye module. You can see there the LED. Right now I can control it using my phone from the app, turn it on. It's red, but you can configure any light let's try blue orange yellow green yeah it's that easy to use so the way it's supposed to be installed i'm going to install it it's supposed to be installed in such a manner that it's going to illuminate over this projector lens so normally you'll we'll insert it on the top this way yeah that's the location of the demon eye I, i've stuck it in there using the double-sided tape i hope it won't come off or i'm sure it won't come off yeah but it was that easy that was so easy you just stick it there then put double-sided tape on both sides then stick it there so if you turn it on that's how it lights up and it illuminates slightly forward forwards but slightly downward so yeah it's that simple it's actually the easiest of all things you could install here and just like that it's done so at this point I've time to jump this video for like 
one and a half hours and in that period a lot has been done let me just show you what happened i've pretty much wired everything you can see here if to explain all the wiring mess that has happened actually wiring is the hardest part of the whole job so this ones i got them mounted on the on this frame you can see how the black paint came out i tied them with this I tied them with those wires around plus a little bit of uh, hot glue in the back but mostly it's just the wires holding them. The halo ring is held in by hot glue. It's there. It, I don't think it will ever come out. On the inside of the headlight housing, here I've mounted the controller for the sequential LED strip and the LED strip. This one is the CCFL inverter for the halo ring. And in here is also the controller for the Demon Eye, the Bluetooth controller and all that. So I had to drill holes at the bottom of the headlight housing. You can see here below. This one is for the Demon Eye. This is power for the Demon Eye. This is the controller to the other side of the headlight. On this other side, these are four wires. One is ground for everything. The other one is tapped into the parking light. This one is for the CCFL halo ring. This other red wire here is tapped for the LED strip. And the other black wire over here is for the indicator for the for the sequential switchback headlight. So before you mount everything else and take uh, and seal up the headlight you need to test everything and check if they all work or maybe you've messed up somewhere i've hooked up everything ready for testing i think i'm gonna show you what it looks like So, with the lights off, there's the demon eye, the sequential switchback, I can switch it off, then it will light up the LED switch. Yeah. So, up to this point everything works, so I move ahead to assemble the headlight. Everything is pretty much done. This is what it looks like at the moment. Uh, so, I've got only two wires hanging loose from the back. No, three. This one connects the other demon eye for the other side. For the passenger side that I've already installed. This one is for the LED strip. It's wired to the fog light, so they light together. The fog lights light together with the LED strip. This other wire is for the power for the demon eyes. I'm going to have to connect it to a custom switch so that it works only when I prefer to use it. And uh, that's pretty much all. So, if you look at the headlight right now, you can't completely join the both halves together. So, I'll have to preheat it. The, so, I'll have to preheat it back in the oven. You see some of that rubber material it's hardened right at the moment it feels like rubber but i'm going to put it back in the oven for 10 minutes at 110 no maybe seven minutes but yeah then afterwards i'll just seal it for the holes that i drilled for for the cables for the power and the ground for those strips and wires. you see you need to put silicone on them so just watch out for that, otherwise they will leak and the headlight will get all uh, moist. It will get moist with the water inside, so make sure you watch out for that. You seal the headlight properly. Up to that point, I think everything is pretty done. I'll show a few clips of how it looks in the car or before. So 
two days have passed since I did the headlight install on the driver's side. I'd figured I'd wait a few days to see if anything will show up, mistakes or if it will stop working, which of course somehow it did. The demon I fell off, so the use of double-sided tape clearly failed me. And uh, I'll advise you don't use double-sided tape for anything to hold the demon eye or the halo ring. They are going to fail. So that's pretty much how it's done guys. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like the install. Consider subscribing to the channel for more uploads. I'm gonna leave a short edit on what it looks like afterwards. So stay tuned for that. Bye for now and see you on the next video.